idea. Michelle Lee just found out the Service Canada office in Surrey isn't taking new requests and she won't be able to renew her father's passport. My father's trip is uh, May 6th. We do still have some time, but, but it's not good. <laughs> her father, Troy, had a similar reaction. Oh, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Throughout the day, dozens of people were turned away. People picking up new passports were being helped, but the federal government says only new applications with urgent or humanitarian needs are being accepted. My grandma is really sick right now overseas, so I'm trying to, you know, expedite this like, if possible, so I'm trying to get more information. She recently became a citizen. It's really frustrating because um, there has been delay in getting my citizenship and everything. Now there's delay in getting the passport, which should not be a problem. Picket lines popped up across BC Wednesday, with workers from Vancouver Island to Prince George to Abbotsford calling for better wages. Workers in Vancouver say they're feeling the pinch of rising inflation and the cost of living. It's an expensive city and we need the inflation rate to, go, to cover our expense. And I think it's, as a public worker, we need to have a better pay and everything. And others appealed for support from Canadians. We're just asking you stand by us because uh, we deserve for our demands to be met. Some say public support could go a long way in swaying negotiations one way or another. I hope anyone who's inconvenienced will pressure their member of parliament, pr pressure government to get, get a deal done. Meanwhile, Lee wonders how long she'll have to wait. Frustrated because at least we want to know what to do. We don't, we, we won't be able to come every day to check out what the status is. With negotiations between the union and the Treasury Board on pause, people needing new passports in BC don't have a timeline for when they'll be able to get them. Eva Yuguen Senj, CBC News, Surrey.